Jesus model for our class today. Naked in his open-palmed innocence. We had never seen such a model before. He even brought with him his own light. We all hope to capture the exquisite symmetry of his person with our colors, shadings, and lines, each thought to copy him perfectly, or at least to the letter, coming at him from so many different angles, places, filters, distances, and times. His form twisted and contorted for us in beautifully agonized ways. And we were amazed to see him take on so many postures, having only the image of his outstretched arms and funneled feet for a reference. He would often smile, observing our childish efforts to grasp and bind him to a single vision on our canvases, leaving us frustrated in our vain attempts to concretize his figure, to make it fit our available shapes. His attitude towards us never changed, though he'd hold a given pose interminably, as much chance as we needed to perceive him. He never tired of standing before us, so that we might see his many faceted being, the richness, the depth, the light, the shadows. He revealed both softness and strength, the earthiness of his feet planted firmly on the ground and the expansiveness of his brow reaching to forever. His virile arms, gliding legs, majestic torso, and the hands. We were so distracted by the holes in his hands and the many little faces that appeared in his palms, shuddering. But his eyes would call us away from the holes, inviting each artist to focus on the transcendent luster in them, beyond the color of red and the limited portrait of death. He was undoubtedly the best image we had ever seen, as there was no shame in him. So boldly presenting his being exposed before us, he challenged us to bear our own. We dreaded for class to end, for here was a model who combined the humble textures of humanity with the statuesqueness of a god. As I looked around the room at each easel, the pictures were as varied as infinity. But in each there was a light gilded to his chest.
As we ended the class, we beseeched our model. What do we call the painting? What is its title? Self-portrait, he replied, with a divine twinkle in his eyes.